And now for the Monero development segment. This week, we have some limits put on the Monero NFTs. We're going to go over that today. So basically what happened since our last update was that there was a merge put into the official Monero repo that limits TX Extra in the transaction pool. And this sort of limits how easy it is to make NFTs. We're going to get into that a little bit more later. So this change has been pending officially since February the 5th. But I'm sure this fix has been floating around the space way before then. It's a relatively straightforward fix. But like I said, once again, it was pending in the repo since February the 5th not being merged. It was a great discussion about the trade-offs, the cons and the pros about this in this repo. So it's been discussed thoroughly, but not merged yet. But if you're paying attention, um, as our show last week said, someone actually made Monero NFTs. So you can see here, someone's like, hey, by the way, um, we should probably get this merged because someone's actually making NFTs. So after this prompt, I think like a couple days later, it was merged. And what does this merge do? So officially this merge basically limits the size of transactions, specifically TX Extra in the transaction pool and basically nodes have to upgrade to it. But what does this not do? Miners still have no limits still. So basically miners can directly mine NFT transactions, massive transactions if they want to essentially. So it can be done out of band sort of. And currently even without miners, NFTs basically just need to string different transactions together, right? So maybe an NFT is too large to put in one transaction. So you can imagine an NFT person splits it in two or three or four. You can still do that. That is effective, but it does increase the price, which is, a, I think, a pretty good fix at this time. But like I said, Justin has a great summary in the repo concerning this. He pretty much says, this isn't a permanent fix or like the in all be all. It's a great start. And they're still talking about different things that will get merged in later. But this merge right here is a great start. And I agree. It was like, I think like two, three weeks after Monero NFTs went live, which is great to respond so fast. The dev community has been great in talking about all of this, informing the community, having these conversations, even before Monero NFTs were a thing. So Monero community is clearly committed to digital cash. And it's great to see them address issues before they pop up so that you can see such a quick response when the issue does present itself. And to iterate that, Monero talk with Doug and Justin was awesome. That happened literally, I think, Thursday. And it was great. I listened to it. You should listen to it too. It's amazing. It covers these things in great details, the pros and cons of more knows. Maybe some things that can be fixed around them. Just a great overview of the technology and this issue specifically. So as usual, I recommend you watch the Monero talk with Justin, if you want to do a deep dive into this issue. And that'll be it. Um, hope you all have a great day.